Good morning all. The paper which I am going to present is uh, a novel formula to calculate liver volume using CT parameters. As we know, determining the liver volume is an important step in all the liver transplantation surgeries. Historically, many formulae are in use to calculate the liver volume by using various anthropometric parameters. Uh, certain recent formulas are also based on uh, CT parameters also. It is essential in this era of increasing liver transplantations, especially living coronal transplantations, to accurately calculate the standard liver volume of the recipient who had already lost the major portion of liver, as well as to calculate to know the functional liver reserve of the donor to avoid major post procedural complications, especially uh, small liver volume syndrome. The underlying liver disease can alter the pa anthropometric parameters of the individual. So, there is need for a formula using other measurable CT parameters to calculate the standard liver volume of the individual. It is also important to have a different formula at different geographic areas to calculate the liver volume pertaining to that specific population. Here. In this study, we had used manual CT volumetry to calculate the liver volume. Three CT parameters, namely the thoracoabdominal circumference, abdominal depth and abdominal width were calculated. And we had tried to derive a, a, a formula to predict the standard liver volume using these parameters and taking this manual CT volumetry as the standard. Coming on to materials and methods. Uh, those individuals who had undergone CT in the Department of Radiodiagnosis, uh, day, who had no hepatobiliary complaints were included in the study. The sample size calculated was 113. The CT acquisitions were done using GE Revolution 128 slice machine and post contrast hepatic venous phase images were used to calculate the uh, liver volumetry. So, only hepatic venous phase images were used so that the liver margins can be clearly delineated. The cases which were found to have fatty liver or any other liver pathology or anything that can alter the liver morphology were excluded from the study. Manual tracings were done in every 10 mm slice interval using OSIRIC software and areas were derived at these levels. Liver volume was then derived by multiplying the total by total area derived by the slice interval that is 10. Thoracoabdominal circumference, abdominal width and abdominal depth were calculated for all the cases and the values were expressed in millimeters. The correlation of these parameters with the liver volume was then studied. A uh, formula to calculate the liver volume using these CT variables were derived by using regression models. Uh, this is the representative image in hepatic venous phase to show how liver volumetry was done. Here we can see at, de at definite 10 mm slice intervals, the liver outline were contoured and traced in OSIRIC software and the area at each interval each slice were calculated. While calculating it was done in a great anatomical precision so that the extrahepatic portal veins were excluded, the intrahepatic portal branches were included, gallbladder as you can see is excluded uh, from the tracings, also IVC was excluded from the tracings. After getting the areas at the, all these slice intervals, it was uh, the total was derived and volume was calculated by multiplying by 10 in centimeter cube. This is how thoracoabdominal circumference was calculated in millimeters by tracing the inner margins of the ribs as well as the vertebrae at the level of hepatic vein confluence. Here we should note that hepatic venous confluence uh, slice was taken as the standard slice to calculate thoracoabdominal circumference, abdominal depth and abdominal width. Abdominal depth was calculated by a perpendicular line uh, from the anterior margin of vertebrae to the skin surface and abdominal width was calculated by drawing a skin to skin line which was perpendicular to to the previous line which was used to calculate abdominal depth and at the midway of that line. 
Note that the section is same for that of thoracoabdominal circumference. The data was analyzed by using SPSS software and Spearman's correlation was done to see the correlation between these CT parameters with the liver volume. Now coming on to the results, we can see that this is uh, how our uh, liver volume was distributed and the mean liver volume derived from our study was 1237 plus or minus 278 centimeter cube. And it was ranging from 742 to 2126 centimeter cube. Uh, Spearman's correlation of CT parameters was done with the liver volume. Here we can see that the correlation uh, all these three CT parameters had a strong positive correlation with the liver volume and among that with a significant p-value and among that abdominal width had the maximum correlation with the liver value with a correlation coefficient of 0.569. This is the scatter plot to uh, show how the three parameters had a correlation with total liver volume and you have to note here that all the three parameters were calculated in millimeter. Now, uh, we had uh, used a stepwise analysis to get a parsimonious model to calculate the uh, predictable uh, liver volume equation, to derive at an equation. Here we can see all the constants were uh, put and dependent variable was the total liver volume. The formula which we could derive to calculate liver volume was minus 948.304 plus plus. 0.462 into thoracoabdominal circumference in millimeter minus 0 0.470 into abdominal depth in millimeter plus 7.106 into abdominal width in millimeter. So, it is important to calculate the liver volume prior to the transplant surgery to avoid major post procedural complications like small liver volume syndrome. The currently used formula are mainly based on anthropometric parameters of the person. A patient who is having a chronic liver disease will definitely have altered anthropometric parameters and manual tracing of liver is a cumbersome process in a recipient. Automated liver volumetry can also uh, overestimate or underestimate the liver volume. So it is easy to calculate the standard liver volume using our uh, uh, formula. Uh, where the liver morphology is deranged. These are the previously used formula and we can see that it is basically based on uh, anthropometric parameters except the Shaw et al. Shaw et al had used uh, thoracoabdominal circumference but it is uh, not very much standardized. In our study we had standardized the thoracoabdominal circumference. So to conclude this is the liver volume uh, which is derived and this uh, formula is a ready reckoner for all the radiologists to calculate the standard liver volume. These are my references. Thank you.